everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I'm here with a crazy high ponytail. It's a what's on my nook video, guys. This is my nook. I do have the Samsung tablet. Take what you can from your dreams. Make them as real as anything. That is one of my favorite Dave Matthews Band quotes. I love it. Uh, let's open this bad boy up. I am also on airplane mode, so not all the covers are showing up. Like, in fact, none of them are showing up. But can we see how far I scroll through all of these? And a lot of these are series, so that there's just a lot. So this says that I have 237 items in my library. Now, when I tallied it in terms of books that I've read, books that I have not read, or books that I have DNF'd, I had 158. So I'm thinking some of these are probably either repeats, because I do have some classics that were free that I downloaded multiple times. There's also some on there that were magazines. I'm not going to hold this up the whole time because my ring light will just glare on the screen. You won't be able to see anything anyway. But what I do have is a full day's worth of work that I went through my nook and wrote down every title, every author, every genre, whether I read it, did not read it or read it and DNF'd the series or read it and DNF'd the book, period. So a lot of them I can't even give you a synopsis on. I'm not going to give you a synopsis in this video. I'm also trying to get a lot better, guys, about putting cover art up when I'm talking about a book. I am not doing that for 158 books. I will absolutely go crazy editing. It's just never going to happen. So if there's a book title or author that you seem like you're really interested in, by all means, head to Goodreads and check it out. So I have, again, 158 books, 60 of them are unread, 91 are read, and 7 are DNF'd. So I'm going to start with my unread books, just because that's what's first in this Excel spreadsheet. So if I look down, it's because I'm looking at my spreadsheet. First up is The Gatekeeper's Son by Eve Poehler. I took a guess that that's a YA fantasy, but again, I'm not sure. Kiss of Fire, which is the first, I believe, in the Imdolin series by Rebecca Effington. So I have Kiss of Fire and Eyes of Ember, which are, I believe, are the first two books of the Imdolin series by Rebecca Effington. Dark Desires by Eve Silver, which sounds like a sexy time book, but I don't know. Sisters in Love by Melissa Foster. She does do contemporary romance. She's an author that I interviewed a really long time ago for the magazine that I used to own and run. And she's super, super sweet, but she does a lot of contemporary romance. Some of them are LGBT romances. So I have a lot of her books on here because when I was interviewing her, I got some of them for free and then other ones I just went on. And she usually has a lot on of her library free on, on Barnes and Nobles or Kindle. So you could check it out. So Sisters in Love and Game of Love by Melissa Foster, I believe is a series. And then it's, those are the first two, I hope. I don't know. Once Gone by Blake Pierce. Wild Boys After Dark. That's Melissa Foster. Also Taken by Love. Sexy time books, guys. The Billionaire's Sub. Definitely sexy time. And that's by M.S. Parker. Lovers at Heart, Melissa Foster. Bound by a Dragon, Linda K. Hopkin. It could be sexy time. It could not be. I don't know. Firefly Hollow by T.L. Haddix. Beyond the Highlands, which is a Karen Marie Monning book that I believe is a companion novel to her Fever series about one of the Highlanders. I want to say I read it, but then when I went to click on it, I was at the start of the book, so maybe I didn't. I'm counting as it a no. I'm pretty sure I read it, but I'm going to count it as a no because I'm not sure. The Fairy Guardian by Rachel Morgan. Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I have the physical copy too. I haven't read either. The Talented Saga, books one through four by Sophie Davis. That's a dystopian romance, I think. Maybe. I'm counting that as one book. So anything that was a series where I got like a bundle or a bunch of books, it's one line in my Excel spreadsheet, so it counts as one book. So technically, it's four books though. And then there was None by Agatha Christie. That's a mystery. Haven't read it. The Best American Short Stories, compilation of authors. Two of a Kind by Susan Malloy. Dream Wielder by Garrett Calcaterra. Maybe? Darkness Before Dawn by J.A. London. Also Blood Kissed Sky by J.A. London. Lady Chanterley's Lover by D.H. Lawrence. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, which I started to read and then just put down. I haven't officially DNF'd it, but I haven't finished it. That's by Jonathan Safran Foer. Great House by Nicole Krause. Prince of Tides by Pat Conroy. Weathering Heights, Emily Bronte. I haven't read it. Heat Wave, a Nikki Heat novel, and that is by Richard Castle. 
off the show and uh, mystery, I'm assuming. Haven't read it. Throwaway by Heather Huffman. Turned, book one by Morgan Rice. Lovely by Allison Liddell. The Healer's Apprentice by Melanie Dickerson. Juliet by Anne Fortier. Fortier, I don't know. A Book of Modern Meditation. No author. Aesop's Fables. Anne of Green Gable by L.M. Montgomery. Mm, nope. Darkness Stalks the Night by Bruce Blake. I'm assuming that was a vampire phase download. Child of the Northern Spring by Persia Woolley. Grimm's Fairy Tales. Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Lewis Carroll. Which I can move now! I just finished that book! So I can move that one. I read it in physical copy, but I can move that. The Complete Works of Sherlock Holmes. Arthur Conan Doyle. I don't think I'm ever gonna sit at my nook and read that entire thing, but I have it. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, which I actually have read, so I can move that too. Dracula by Bram Stoker, which I don't know how, but I have not read. Pride and Prejudice, Jane Austen, have not read that. Grave Witch, the Alex Craft series, book one by Callie, Callie, Callania Price. Callania Price. I don't know how to say her name, I'm so sorry. Mortal Ghost by L. Lee Lowe. That is a lot of L's. I will probably never read that, actually. The cover art is awful, but who knows. Bookstore Lore, the staff of Tor Harper Books. Nonfiction, haven't read it. How to Write a Great Book and Get It Published. I haven't read it. Out of the Bag by Mary Janice Davidson. Life, Love, and a Polar Bear by Heather Wardell. Enchanting the Lady by Katherine Kennedy. The Strangely Beautiful Tale of Miss Percy Parker. Yours for Eternity Bind Up by multiple different authors. I'm assuming it's Paranormal Romance Sexy Time, guys. It looked, the cover art was scandalous. Siren of the Water by Michael, Michael Genelin? Possibly. Saving Sailor by Renee Riva. The Lightning Thief, Percy Jackson, book one by Rick Riordan. Jennifer Cruz Bundle. I really like Jennifer Cruz's books. They're like super fluffy contemporaries, um, but like adult contemporaries, and they're such a guilty pleasure. That's a bundle pack of like a ton of books of hers. I haven't read them all. I've read some of them, so I couldn't mark that as read because I don't think I've read them all. And then Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, which after how I felt about Alice in Wonderland, I will probably never read. So those were all of my unread books. Now I've got a short little block here of DNF'd books. Diary of a Mad Fat Girl by Stephanie McPhee. McAfee? Anyway, not reading it. Witch and Wizard by James Patterson. Not a fan of Patterson. I'm sorry. The Glades, I think, is also Patterson. Not reading it. The Hunters by Jason Pinter. It's a novella and I just don't feel like dealing with the novella. Fang by James Patterson. Not reading it. Don't Blink, James Patterson. Not reading it. And The Unsuspecting Mage by Brian S. Pratt. I tried to read it. It's not gonna happen. So now we're going to get into all of the books that I read and that was 91 books. We're just gonna run through these. If I remember anything about them, I will tell you, but chances are I super don't. My Blood Approves by Amanda Hawking. Sexy time romance, guys. Vampire bitey biteys. Uh, the Lost Symbol by Dan Brown. I love that series. Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. I love it. Wish by Alexandra Bullen. That was awful. Irresistible Forces by Brenda Jackson. Contemporary romance, I believe. Eating Animals by Jonathan Zafron Zofower. The same guy as the incredibly, extremely loud, incredibly close. Uh, that... I read that. Too Good to Be True by Kristen Higgins, contemporary romance. Also The Cinderella Deal by the same author, Kristen Higgins, read that. And then I've got some Nora Roberts. I've got Daring to Dream and Holding the Dream. I have The Dark Divine by Brie Despain. The Story of Us by Susan Wiggs. Chasing Harry Winston by Lauren Weisberger. That was a contemporary, guys, and it was Catch of the Day by Kristen Higgins, super cute contemporary author. A lot of her is on here because I really like her. Also, The Next Best Thing by Kristen Higgins as well. Chelsea Chelsea Bang Bang, Chelsea Handler. Her books are just always fun reads. First Drop of Crimson by Janine Frost. Vampire Bitey Time, guys. Uh, just One of the Guy by Kristen Higgins. Spellbound by Nora Roberts. That was a paranormal ro romance. It was adorable. The Shop on Blossom Street by Debbie McComer. Darkest Power series by Kelly Armstrong, books one through three. That showed up in the series I've finished video. It was YA Fantasy. I read it a really long time ago. I really can't say much about it. The Dream Trilogy by Nora Roberts. Hide by Lisa Gardner, which was a mystery. One Day, David Nichols. 
You guys know how I feel. Girl with a Dragon Tattoo series. Stieg Larsson, amazing. Deeply disturbing, but amazing. Bliss by Opal Karu. Karu, I don't know how to say her name. She is a super sexy time, like, sexy time author, guys. I think she's most famous for her BDSM and, like, more over the top erotica like this isn't even just like romance here this is like erotica like 50 shades over 50 shades um but if you're into that kind of thing and you want just a super super steamy read about very naughty stuff opal Carew is she's kind of the way to go garden spells by sarah addison allen that I wanted to be so much better than it was. Wasn't great. Did read it. Maybe This Time by Jennifer Cruz. Love her. My Heart is on a Life by Chelsea Handler. All I Ever Wanted by Kristen Higgins. I love her, guys. Have we gotten to that yet? <laughs> I've got three books by Allison Noel. It is Evermore, Blue Moon, and Night Star, which I believe is a trilogy. Uh, those are all done. I also have I Hope They Serve Beer in Hell by Tucker Max. He's a douche tool. Anyway, the Wrong Husband by Ruth Ann Norden, The Wicked House of Ronin by Anne Stewart, and Strange Bed Persons by Jennifer Cruz, Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick, Wings by April Lynn Pike, uh, The Red Leather Diary by Lily Copel. I read that for like a book club forever ago, as well as The Paris Wife by Paula McLean, Tylee, T-Y-L-L-E series, books one through three by Amanda Hawking, Tile, Tylee, Tealy, I don't know. Fool's Rush In by Kristen Higgins. Can you guys sense a the theme here? She's all over. The Law of the Lichens, books one through three, and that is by Nikki Charles. Wolf Time, guys. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Not a fan. The White Queen by Philippa, Gre Philippa Gregory, and I do like her books in general, especially the Tudor series. Manhunting by Jennifer Cruz, Stuck in the Middle by Virginia Smith, those guys are both contemporaries, How to Marry a Millionaire Vampire, Sucky Sucky Buddy Buddy, Sexy Time by Carrie Lynn Sparks. The Hunger Games, books one through three, Suzanne Collins, Lies That Chelsea Handler Told, Chelsea Handler. I also have Poison Study and Magic Study by Marie B. Schneider, as well as Fire and Ice by Michelle Barrow Bellisile? Belisil. Belisil. I'm awful because I'm actually friends with her. So sorry, Michelle. Uh, Discovering Delilah by Melissa Foster. Discovering Delilah is one of her uh, lesbian romance stories. It was actually really cute. Pinehurst and Pinehurst Book Two by Nicole Green. Talon, Julie Kagawa. Clockwork Angel, Cassandra Clare. The Silver Witch by Paula Braxton. That one was actually pretty okay. Uh, Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. Panic by Lauren Oliver. Ghost Boy by Martin Pistorius. That one was just heartbreaking. It was about a boy who was paralyzed but like awake in his own mind and he woke up. Like he woke out of it and told his story but he was conscious and aware the entire time and people were having conversations around him and people were mistreating him in hospitals and care homes. Vampire Academy books one through six by Rochelle Mead. House of Night books 1 through 11 by PC Cast, Uninvited by Sophie Jordan, Wide Open by Deborah Coates. I have The Hollow Series, book 1 through 11 by Kim Harrison, Come Back to Me by Melissa Foster, Chasing Amanda by Melissa Foster, Beautiful Creatures, books 1 through 3 by Cami Garcia, Enchanted, the Ray Wildler books, 1 through 3 by Penelope Fletcher, Crossfire, books 1 and 2, which is like a Fifty Shades like book series. I have Blue Bloods books four through six. Random. I think I must have gotten the other ones at like the library or something. And that's by Melissa De La Cruz. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I hate it. Sookie Sackhouse books nine through 13 by Charlene, ha Charlene Harris. The Host by Stephanie Meyer, which I loved and bought in physical copy. True Colors is by Kristen Hanna. Fifty Shades of Grey books one through three by E.L. James. Discovery of Witches by Dar Deborah Harkness, as well as 
Shadow of Night, which is book number two in that series, and that's also Deborah Harkness. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. Lucky Man, a memoir by Michael J. Fox. Signs of the Zodiac, books one through six by Vicki Peterson, as well as Summer's Crossing by Julie Kagawa. I have The Drafter by Kim Harrison. To All the Boys I Loved Before and P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. I also have The Fever series, book one through six by Karen Marie Monning. I have The Distance Between Lost and Found by Katherine Holmes, as well as Crescendo by Lee Brook, which is erotica if you're interested. And then the last one that I have on my list is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, which is a YA contemporary. And that is the total of all of the books on my nook. Clearly I have plenty of books to read on this, so like I said the breakdown is 60 unread books, although 59 because Alice in Wonderland I have read, so 59 unread. 92 red, 7 DNF'd, and that's all in this little guy. So I have to add those to my, at the time I filmed, I think it was 75 books on my TBR shelves, which I've dwindled a little bit because I read this month and last month. But if you add the 75 to the 60, it's, you know, a solid 130 books that I need to read. And I really don't reach for my nook unless I'm traveling or by the beach or I just want like the ease of carrying something smaller. It's a struggle for me to actually read on that now. I used to love it, but I've grown out of it. I hope you've been interested in taking a look and seeing what was on my nook. Taking a look at what was on my nook. Did not mean to rhyme there. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys.